Hello again, my beautiful sacred feminines. This is a continuation of a video I just made. After I finished it up, I realized there's a couple of things I want to add, and I've not yet learned to edit videos and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to make a part two. So something that is really important when we're talking about the wounded feminine and the sacred feminine being on opposite ends of the spectrum, fear and love over here, is that... And when I was talking about duality, uh, duality versus polarity, duality is um, there's an energy over here and there's an energy over here. One is good. One is bad. One needs to conquer the other. You know, when you're when it's polarity, it's just opposite ends of the spectrum. It's not a good or bad. You can be anywhere in there, but it's not like one needs to conquer the other. You're just appreciating that there's different ends of this spectrum of energy fear over here and love over here it's just different variations and we can be moving closer to one or the other you know depending on how we decide to be in the world and the choices that we make for ourselves because there is free will and ultimately we are making the decisions to be more in a fear-based state or a love-based state i know it might feel like we're not sometimes but we are and i have a whole program about that a 12-week program to really get you in touch with those decisions that you are making for yourself often on a very unconscious basis because we've been doing it for so long. So check that out. If it speaks to you, I'll be talking more about that, but these are decisions. We have free will. We get to decide, even if it's hard to make decisions that are taking us in a healthier direction, we do get to make those decisions. But what I was wanting to say with the ends of the spectrum here We've got wounded feminine and we've got the sacred feminine over here. There's no judgment. I mentioned that in the last video. There's no good or bad. There's not, um, there, it's just opposite ends of this spectrum. And as such, we are not trying to conquer or eliminate the wounded feminine. The wounded feminine has great wisdom, actually. You know, there's much wisdom virtues in that energy. And what we are wanting to do is to integrate integrate our wounded feminine, integrate our shadow into, into our whole experience, because these are opposite ends of the spectrum. If we go too far into one direction or too far into the other, it, it can be um, really challenging. So we're trying to integrate all of these energies into ourselves. We don't negate the shadow. We don't negate the wounded feminine. We honor her. We honor her journey. We honor where she's been. We honor how she got to be in that wounded space. You know, we honor those energies. And we bring them into ourselves. We bring them in and we integrate themselves. So we're no longer in a battle. It's not good or bad. It's not that dualistic. We're not trying to conquer. No more wounded feminine. Wounded feminine is bad. No, no, no. There's a lot of wisdom here. And we want to integrate that and bring the divine feminine to that wounded feminine. We bring it into our hearts. We bring them both in and honor all ends of the spectrum. We honor all aspects of ourselves. This is part of the human journey. We are not one or the other. We are all the energies. We are all of the things. We have all of the emotions. How do we honor these? And in a healthy way, you know, how do we honor the wounded feminine? We don't let her like run amok and take over our experience. But how do we honor her and support her and bring her in and go, yes, 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 I totally get that. And I'm going to hold you and love you and care for you. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with your wounding at all. Totally held, totally supported because that's what she needs. She's scared of not getting that. So we're going to bring her in. We're just like, mm, and we're going to hold her tight. You know, there's no shunning and shaming. We're going to strengthen our sacred feminine so we can really hold space for our wounded. You know, we're going to integrate all of that. So that's a really important piece because I, the, the, the last thing I'm trying to do is create any more duality within ourselves. You know, we need to integrate all aspects of our humanity. We are not perfect. Our imperfections are what make us human. And this is a beautiful thing if we can get to that space where we recognize it and appreciate it. And we're no longer trying to conquer parts of ourselves. That's what we've been in. We've been in that energy and we've been in that space for too long, trying to shun, deny, cut off parts of ourselves that we didn't like or that weren't accepted. No, uh -uh, no. We honor all parts of ourselves and we rock it out. You know, we recognize like, okay, I have this area, this element that actually causes me pain. So how do I bring that over into the sacred feminine? How do I bring the sacred feminine to her and honor that and recognize it? And she doesn't have to, I don't have to identify with her, but honor her, you know? So 
very different flavor than trying to cut out parts of ourselves or um, pretend they don't exist, like spiritually bypass and just be in this sacred feminine love and light. That it, our, our world is not all love and light. It's just not. That's just not real. So we honor the shadow. We integrate the shadow. We bring in the wisdom of both sacred and wounded feminine energies. So really important piece of the equation there so i just wanted to um to to add that into the last video where we were talking about all the sacred feminine and wounded feminine energies so and how i work with them so in this program we're going to learn how to do that we don't shut down the wounded we bring her in so we're going to be learning more about that and integrating all of it and integrating it for society and for the collective you know we don't need to put down other people's wounds either and and their humanity and how they're showing up that's what God is here in this first place, right? We honor everybody on their journey and we honor all of the energies that show up on this planet. And then we just make those healthy decisions for ourselves. What are the energies we want in our world and in our experience, you know? And we get to that place where we care enough about ourselves. We have this deep love for ourselves that we make healthy decisions for ourselves. You know, it just gets so much easier the more we do this. So, um, cause it didn't always used to be easy. I mean, for myself and I still, you know, there's still things where it's just like, Ooh, could have done that better, you know, <laughs> or maybe that's not the energy I want to be around. But, you know, some of these lessons we have to continue to learn. So anyway, I will stop right there. Um, again, check out the program page. And um, really, I'm not going to go into all the details about the program. Again, I really covered that in the last session or in the last um, video. So uh, go check that out. But the links will be below in the description. So um yeah, thank you so much. And there's a whole video on the program. If you're, this is women healing through intergenerational trauma, which is all this wounded feminine that we just came into, you know, we came in with it. We were born from it. We live in it. So, you know, the earth wounded feminine, right? So this is all about recognizing, honoring it, awareness, seeing how it plays out in our lives and in the collective and in our families and in our ancestors and clearing that from everybody, ourselves, our ancestors, the planet. So big work, big stuff going on here. And it's a powerful, powerful, powerful program. Six week intensive. I don't call it intensive for nothing. You know, this is when you're ready to seriously do the work. You know, there's a lot going on here and we really need to get into it. So the astrology super supports that right now. It is powerful time for uh, this big work so thank you again for being here and again let me know if anything comes up for you if you have questions comments want more clarity or want to know just you know want to share share about your journey you know i would love to hear from you we're all in this together and that's just my favorite quote we are all just walking each other home that's from ram das and it just like everything is about that to me i should get that tattooed on my on my head because that's what it is you know we're all in this together and we are all just trying to get each other to this love 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 right <laughs> so thank you again for being here and sending love to you bye